Welcome back to Let's Play Sundog Frozen Legacy. We're on the planet of Glory 1 after dropping off those two cryogens on John and I'm just about out of fuel. But instead of filling up here because the fuel is quite expensive, I remember I dropped off some fuel that was in the pod earlier at the warehouse here. But first I'm going to grab a bite to eat at the bar. I'm going to grab a burger. Even though they are kind of expensive. Oh well. But yeah, I'm going to go grab the fuel from the pod. Or the fuel for the pod in the warehouse. And then I'm going to go find a cryogen on this world somewhere. Hopefully I can find one. And unfortunately there's no... And here I'm getting the fuel. Unfortunately there's no button or switch. And here I'm just checking prices. To... Looks like they like stimulants here. Wow. And gold. Yeah, just like America. Well there's no there's no button or switch to automatically load the fuel onto your ship. Which is too bad. That means you have to run out of fuel and then it automatically loads itself. There's no manual control for it. So even if there are multiple cryogens on this world, if I find one then I'm gonna have to go and empty the rest of my fuel to transfer the the fuel from the pod and as you can see my fuel is really low so right now I'm gonna go to a brand but yeah I'm gonna have to exhaust the rest of my fuel to load the fuel that's in my pod into my main tank and yes it doesn't make sense why they did it I'm not sure maybe they it was an oversight who knows it was uh, about 25 26 years ago maybe longer than that uh, okay let's go to the exchange on a brand and there it is the big red backwards S so let's check the warehouse and they do have a cryogen here so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut short my exploration of the other cities of glory one for now I'm just checking prices looks like they like droids here I'm gonna and whatever sunsets are they like that too I'm gonna go to glory f 3 in order to exhaust my fuel and see if they have any cryogens there and if they don't then I'll just come back here and explore the rest of the cities but if not then I will just go back to Jond. If they do have a cryogen on Glory 3. Okay. So we're going in orbit. We got the cryogen. Now we got to burn up the rest of the fuel. So let's just set the course to Glory 3. And instead of taking a nap right away, I'm going to uh, just let this play out so you can see the fuel drain since it's almost empty once it gets down to nothing then it will automatically refuel itself and it's got like one bar left right now okay now it's completely empty it should refuel itself with the fuel that's in the pod 
there it goes. And it's really too bad that there is no button that could replace that process. I mean, it is the future and all. I mean, even I can think of that. Okay, there's only one city on Glory 3. It's called Sorel. So, we'll just limit our exploration to one city, and then that'll be it. And We won't visit Glory 3 again unless we're looking for a certain item. Or we just happen to be in the system and we're low on gas. Okay. So let's try to find this commodities exchange. I think I was around here before, but I could be mistaken. Now for some reason I thought all these buildings were on the bottom half of the screen, not the top half. I guess I was mistaken. Oh well. Alright, well there's the building. Let's go and see if they have any uh, cryogens. And they do, so let's grab them. Okay. So now we have all the cryogens we need to complete this phase. So, so far, my theory is correct that every every planet has at least one cryogen. Yeah, it looks like they're paying high prices for radioactives and droids. But, like they say, all it takes is just one counterexample to refute the whole theory. So if I find one planet where it's not true, then I guess the theory would have to be discarded or modified. Okay, right now I'm going to go to the bank so I can transfer all my money to the John system so I don't make that mistake that I did in the last episode. Alright. And we go back to the ship. And then we'll go set warp to Jond. And then we're, we'll look at the map after we lift off to see the position of planet John. So we know what uh, warp point we want to aim for. And, well that's planet John, so it looks like we want to go for that that one right there. Yeah. Oh, it looks like uh, the percentage chance is already 84 once you start leaving Glory 3. I mean, I could do the warp right now. 86? I might as well just do it right now. Probably put me all the way on the other side of the system, so now I'm probably going to burn up a lot of fuel just going from the warp point to John. But you know what? I think I would have burned up the same amount of fuel anyway going to the warp point. Okay, we're there. And I will have to refuel. So let's go to Banville, and we're going to drop off these two cryogens and initiate Phase 4 and complete Phase 3. And it'll say we'll have six phases remaining. Now you could buy other items if you knew what you're going to need 
for the next phases and you could probably just go online and see what the next phases need and then you could just store those items at the warehouses and just pick them up make the game go faster but I'm just playing this like I'm not sure what the next phase will need and we got 5,000 cash for that okay so we're gonna need spices, herbs, chronographs, silly chips, CAD cams. Is that some type of camera? Null graves. Those are expensive. Cryogens. And I think the first one was grain cereals. Yeah, it is. Grain cereals. Okay. So almost like what we need it for phase one with a couple of uh, minor differences I suppose we'll be paying glory uh, one one more visit to see if any of those cities have a, another cryogen looks like there's another building we can enter into and they have a bank here too pretty good Let's see what building this is. A parts store. All right. And they have all the parts that they sell on Drahu. That is pretty good. That means if I ever come here damaged, that means I don't have to go to Drahu to replace like a control node or something. Like I did in the last episode. What's that? An egg-shaped building? Something that uh, Buckminster Fuller designed or something? Okay. Well, I suppose we'll go to the starport on Drahu since they don't have a starport on Banville. We'll refuel and then I suppose I'll end the video right afterwards because it is coming up on time. Okay, and we have to watch this animation. You can't right click out of it. Okay. Now let's go to the start port. And I may go to the commodity exchange before I leave here and try to get all the commodities I could get on Drahu off camera. But I'm going to end the video here. This is Big Low signing off. Have a good day.